Hi, this is Abby from Abby Jane Photography and I wanted to show you how to download your photos once they get sent to your email. So this is kind of what an email will look like when I send out a gallery. Usually there's a little bit more text but I'm just using this as an example. So there's going to be a header photo, there's going to be a view photos button, and then a four digit pin that is very important to remember but we'll come back to that later. So first you want to click on the view photos button and here you can see all your beautiful photos. Oops, here we don't need you. You can see all your beautiful photos and then just remember that sometimes it takes a minute to load at the bottom. And if you want, you can go like through and star or like favorite the ones that you really, really like and it creates a list. We'll go into that in a little bit. But if you just want to go ahead and download all of your photos, which I recommend is one of the first things that you do when you get your album so that you have it and download it to an external drive and send it to your phone or send it to your computer but i do recommend also an external drive just in case something happens to your computer so you're going to go over here there's this download button with the arrow pointing downwards there's two different options for downloading there's high resolution which is what i recommend if you plan on printing the photos or just for general use and then there's web size, and web size is more optimized for social media use if you're posting to Facebook and Instagram, but the high resolution will also work. I'm going to select high resolution just for this purpose. You can choose to download to your computer, to your Dropbox, or to Google Photos. I'm going to do it to my computer, and then start download. Now this will take a few moments. If it's a wedding gallery, it's going to take even longer just because there's more photos. It, you can go back to your email to look for it, or you can just wait right here as it's loading. All right, then when it's ready to download, it will show you how much space it's going to take up. So just know that ahead of time. Uh, if, you have that, if you have enough space on your computer, you just click right here. And it's going to start downloading right down here and again you can see it takes just a few minutes and then as it's downloading navigate to where your downloads usually go for me that's in my downloads folder it's going to show up as this unconfirmed download for just a few moments and then it's going to show up as a zipped file in just a second all right so now you can see that it's completely downloaded and it's as a zip file if you're using a mac the way to open this up is to double click on that zipped file and it's going to be a lot faster to open it up and it's going to come with this folder. Let's go into highlights and here are all the photos. You can toggle between seeing different ways and then if you have an iPhone and you're working on a Mac, I love to just select all by doing command A, right clicking, share and then airdropping to my phone. But I also want to show you another way to download it. Navigate back. All right, so remember when I mention favoriting photos. So I already kind of have a few of them favorited. If it's empty, then it's not on the favorite list. If it's full, then it is. So if you wanted to just go through and favorite a few that you know you want to post on social media right away, although I still recommend downloading the entire gallery at some point, but if you're super eager, you can just go through and favorite them. This is also a good way to make a list to also print. If you are one of my clients, then you do receive a free complimentary print release form so that you can print at a third party printing company if you want to, but you can also print through my shop. If you have any questions on that do just let me know but now we're gonna scroll back up and click on the hearts and then you can also create new list if you want but this just shows those ones that kind of favorited real quick and you can download these specific ones just the same way as I just showed you with that same pin it's the same process it just is not all of them if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope that this was helpful and I am so excited for you to finally have your photos.